Hello viewer, welcome to my YouTube channel Software Testing. As part of Python tutorial, today I'll show you how to install Streamlit on your system. Then there is a first question, what is Streamlit? Streamlit basically is a Python library. Streamlit is an open source framework that allows you to quickly turn Python script into interactive web applications, making it easy to build and share data apps without needing front-end experience. You can create dashboard reports and more using simple Python code. So basically front-end application, you want to create a front-end application, you need to know HTML, CSS, then you can do that thing, whatever you need to. But without HTML, CSS, you can create that application using Streamlit. First thing you need to check, Streamlit already installed on your system or not. Here is a command, Streamlit space hyphen hyphen version thereafter you need to install like pip install streamlit before do installing streamlit you need to have python and pip install on your system those who are new in python and pip how to install those i have a separate video for that in my channel you can watch from there so first thing first we need to check is streamlit install or not Many different way you can check that, but first thing we need to open command prompt. So command prompt also you can open many different way. I am opening from this location, CMD, then hit enter. It is a command prompt. Then first command is streamlit space hyphen hyphen version. Then hit enter from keyboard. You see here is a message streamlit is not recognized as an internal or external command. That means Streamlit is not installed. So first thing, pip install, then Streamlit, then hit enter from keyboard. So it will install, it will take little bit time, but uh, once it is installed, uh, then you will get a success message for installing. Let's see how it goes. Uh, it is done, successfully install Streamlit 1.44.1 so let me clear the screen then i can check again streamlit version streamlit space hyphen hyphen version then hit enter from keyboard now you are not seeing that message now streamlit version 1.44.1 that's mean streamlit install so let me exit from here now we need to create a folder over here so you can do it any location i am doing here streamlit let's say folder name is streamlit also i'll create a python file within that folder streamlit let's say i'll create a python file over here text document let's say my file name is hello.py delete the dot txt extension that means it is the then you will get the pop-up uh, for changing the extension then click yes it is the python file now so now we need an editor uh, for our purpose i will use pycharm id you can use any other id so once you are in pycharm id you need to go main click over here then you need to open folder you see the folder icon over here click over here then it will um, look for your folder which folder you want to open so we need to open streamlit whatever we created select that one then click ok so once you click ok it will open like this way and bottom right side you see update is going on it will uh, do the all automatic update for this project so let me maximize the window you need to double click hello.py double click on that here you need to write your code first thing we need to import streamlit over here import streamlit as st then hit enter that means you need to import that streamlit in order to work first thing we need to st dot title let's say parenthesis then double quote first steam lead app so this is my application title 
thereafter we need to do another thing st dot write also you need to do hello steam lit so our code is complete our application is ready now we need to run our application in order to do that you see the left side here is the terminal click over here so once you will click terminal it will open as a powershell let me go to the drop down you can do with the powershell i will go with the command prompt which is windows command prompt then you need to run your python code from here first time so command is steam lit run then you need to write your file name our file name is hello.py so h e l l o hello.py then hit enter from your keyboard it is running you see browser open with your application first steam lit app and hello steam lit that means it is working fine so in this way you can create your steam lit app it's a very easy way with less code it's a wonderful application streamlit library that you can utilize for your any data science the data related data analysis related web application that's a wonderful app you can use for many different purpose i believe those who are new in python as well as streamlit this video will be very helpful for themselves if you think this is helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and share it to others also, if you have any question, please make a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video.